Today's word is you shall possess the gate of your enemies. Brothers and sisters, I know some of you have been robbed of your joy, your peace. You have had sleepless nights. It seems like your enemies have a tendency of taking what belongs to you and they have set up a gate so that you may not have access to what belongs to you. But my brothers and sisters, you shall possess the gate of your enemy. I don't care how huge the gate is. The gate could be a person. The gate could be something. The gate could be a, a point of entry that the enemy has placed for a long time and you have been denied what belongs to you. Brothers and sisters, this is the good news that we preach. Today's word is from the book of Genesis 22, 15 to 19. Genesis 22, 15 to 19. And it reads, Then the angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time out of heaven and said, By myself I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this thing and have not withheld your son, your only son, blessing I will bless you, and multiplying I will multiply your descendants as the stars of the heaven and as the sand which is on the seashore. And your descendants shall possess the gate of their enemies. In your seed all the nations of the earth shall be blessed, because you have obeyed my voice. So Abraham returned to his young men, and they rose and went together to Beersheba. And Abraham dwelt at Beersheba. Glory to God. This is a very powerful message. The message is you shall possess the gate of your enemies. Now the scripture starts by at 15 and says, Then the angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time out of heaven. This was the second time that the angel called to Abraham. And Abraham was able to respond to the voice. He did not wait for years. He did not wait for uh, things to start moving. He responded. Now the angel of the Lord says, By myself I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this thing and have not withheld your son, your only son. Notice that in this scripture, uh, when you read the scripture, when you read the beginning of the chapter, Abraham is told to sacrifice his own, only son, Isaac. And Abraham obeys. It was painful. It was not an easy thing. But he chose to obey the voice of God. And as he was about to sacrifice Isaac, the angel stopped him. The angel stopped him. And this is how the angel knew that Abraham loved God. Abraham was a man of faith. So now, this is what the angel of the Lord is coming to tell him. That uh, blessing, I will bless you. And multiplying, will multiply your descendants. As the stars of the heaven, and as the sand which is on the seashore. And your descendants shall possess the gate of their enemies. My brothers and sisters, you are the seed of Abraham. You are the descendants of Abraham. So this is a promise made to Abraham. This is a promise that also applies to you because you are the descendants of Abraham. So you shall possess the gate of your enemies. Brothers and sisters, you are going to loot your enemies. I'm reminded of a scripture in a whereby uh, the children of Israel were leaving um, uh, Egypt. And these uh, Israelites, as they were leaving, the scripture says that they looted the Egyptians. They took their 
precious stones. They took their gold. Maybe they took their silver. They took all kinds of precious things. They looted them. So my brothers and sisters, your enemies will not stand you. They have done a lot of things in your life. They have made you cry. They have made you, some of you are into what we call depression. You have things that keep uh, coming back and back. Thoughts of how you uh, will be able to overcome this. But remember, you are more than a conqueror. You are not just a conqueror, but you are more than a conqueror. You have overcome. Why? Because Jesus overcame. He overcame the enemy. When he, says, when he said on that cross, it is finished, it was finished. Now, the reason as to why a lot of people uh, live as though they are still slaves is because they choose to. And also, it's because of knowledge. They lack knowledge. Scripture says in the book of Isaiah that my people perish because of lack of knowledge. It is ignorance. So if you have knowledge, and I'm not just saying just knowledge about the world elements or the systems. I'm saying knowledge in the word of God. You have to have that knowledge. You have to have knowledge. What does God say about you? Notice that a lot of things you would have avoided them. If you say the right thing about you, if you say what God says about you, you would have overcome a lot of things that have come up in your life. So, brothers and sisters, you shall possess the gate of your enemy. I love what 18 says. It says that in your seed, all nations, all nations of the earth shall be blessed because you have obeyed my voice. Brothers and sisters, you are blessed because you are the seed of Abraham. And there is greater, greater that is in you that is in the world, and that is Jesus. Now, for Jesus to be in you, that is a blessing. You are truly blessed. Some of you are suffering in life, and it seems like uh, you have been cursed. But I speak a blessing to those that have been cast by the enemy. May you be blessed. May no curse come over you. In the name of Jesus. Now, 19 says, So Abraham returned to his young men, and they rose and went together to be a Sheba, powerful, after receiving the instruction, after receiving the blessing, after receiving the word from God, he was uh, able to move with confidence because he knew his enemies are beneath him. Brothers and sisters, your enemies are beneath you. Remember, you are the head and never the tail. You are above and never beneath. The storm that is coming up against you is beneath you. Well, I have come to the end of this message. One thing that I would love you to do is share this message with somebody else. Introduce somebody to this good news. Until next time, be blessed.